in this video, I am going to take you through the steps in order to make workbook pages into Google Slides so that you can use them on whichever virtual platform you are using. Um, we are using Google Classroom, so it's going to translate perfectly from Google Slides. So the first thing that you need to do is pull up whichever workbook pages you are going to focus on. For this, I'm going to do our math and focus uh, workbook pages. I've already done chapter one, so I'm gonna go ahead to chapter two. So I logged into my math and focus, and I went to our student workbook, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on chapter two. This takes me to the PDF of our workbook pages. I've actually already downloaded it, but you can download up here by hitting this down arrow and then you can save it as whatever you wanna name it. I named mine Math Chapter Two, okay? So the next thing you're gonna to need to do is go to Google Slides. If you're unsure how to get to Google Slides, you can create a new tab. You go to the waffle in the top right corner, it drops down, and then you'll find Slides right here. Once you click on Slides, it'll pop up any slides that you had previously, or you can create a blank slide. So you will need to create a blank slide, okay? I've already done that and I have my math chapter two right here. So I'm gonna go back to my Google slide that I already had. Notice that my slide is in portrait mode. So my um, screen is not going long ways, it is, it is tall. So in order to get there, you're gonna need to click file up in the top left corner. You'll scroll, scroll down to page setup Okay. You'll have a drop down right here. Mine is already on custom. Yours is probably on widescreen 16.9. Go ahead and hit custom and then you'll have to enter these numbers in order to get it um, to that paper size, eight and a half by 11, and then click apply. So now your screen should also be in this portrait mode. Okay, in order to take that PDF of your workbook pages and put them into Google Slides, you're gonna have to open up your PDF. Mine's right here, Math Chapter 2. You're going to drop down Edit at the top. Scroll down to where it says Take a Snapshot. Go ahead and click on it. You'll notice that your mouse turns into this um, like four-point little cross. Okay, You're going to take that and just drag it over the entire workbook page that you're going to be using. So in this case, I'm, I'm just using the very first chapter two workbook page. So I'm gonna drag it down until I've covered the entire workbook page. And then I just took my hand off of the keypad and it has now taken a screenshot and I can just press okay here. I'll go back to my Google Slides and then I can drop down and click paste. That's going to paste my workbook page into the Google slide. So with it like this, you're not done. They can't do anything with this. And also if you assign this to your students, they could move it around and we don't want them to do that. We want it to, to just stay um, right in the center. So what you're going to do is go to file, download, and you're going to have to download this as an image. I, I use PNG, and it's going to download this current slide as an image, okay? And you see it's dropped down right here. So I am going to actually use this same slide. I'm going to click on the image that I already have inserted and delete it because I don't need it anymore. I want to change the background. So we have our background right here choose image and then I'm going to upload from my computer because that's where my image just downloaded from. Um, let's see here. I think it'd be in my documents. So now I just have to find where I put it. Let's see what I did with that. Probably in my downloads. Okay, so I see all my math chapter one 
Um, and now I have my math chapter two, which is a PNG. So it was in my downloads folder. I just didn't look very good. Okay, so I'll go ahead and upload that and then hit done. Okay, so now this image on my slides, you cannot move. So students wouldn't be able to move around that. It is the background, okay? In order for students to be able to complete anything on this without adding any of their own text boxes, you are going to have to add in the text boxes. So right here, there's a text box icon. I can click on that, and then I can make a text box in any place that I want one. In this case, I'm gonna put one on every line where they need to answer a question so that they are able to type in the answer. So I would rather my text box have a color around it so that they know um, that's where they need to put an answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make it a color that, that they could see. So I just did a bright pink and I can also change the weight of that just so that that line's a little thicker. Okay, and to do this for each of those lines, the easiest way is going to be just to copy and paste that text box and then drag it and drop it. So I'm just, I'm just pasting that same text box over and over again, and I'm dragging and dropping on the line that I want it to be on. So that's pretty simple. Now, if I'm doing all of chapter two, what I'm gonna do is take snapshots of my PDFs all at one time, make a, t a bunch of slides, and then I'm gonna go back through and download them as PNGs, and then I'm gonna change all the backgrounds all at one time, and then I'm gonna come in and do these text boxes for their answers all at one time. It's a lot easier. But for the sake of keeping this video short, I just did one page for you. So we downloaded it as a PDF, we took a screenshot of our PDF, then we added it here. We downloaded that as a PNG, so it's an image. We saved it as the image. We went up to background, changed the background, and put that image in there so now they cannot move this. And then we went ahead and added our text boxes. So when they see this assignment, they're gonna know exactly where they need to answer. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I can try to help the best I can. I'm not saying this is the best way to do this, but it definitely works. Thanks guys.